Mr. Alan Shockley was my neighbor growing up, and he cared for some plush, abundant gardens, great vegetable gardens. He, I learned lessons from him like plowing straight and things like that, and he even posed for me to do a, uh, I called it an impressionistic painting. However, he thought it was a portrait of him, and he did so many neat things, but he used a cow horn to call his hunting dogs. And one day he even made me one. Of course, he also made, uh, he and his wife, uh, made a big pot of Bundrick stew from the garden for their big family and neighbors. It was just very nice people. And I love that horn. I did not know the significance that horn would play in my life. I kept it through the years. I still have it, of course. And uh, I look at the knife marks where he carved out the inside of the horn and shaved down the outside, and it was made with love. And I, I liked it so much, I even carried it to my high school graduation, hid it underneath my graduation gown on the football field, and as we marched off, I pulled the horn out and announced that great ceremony, that great milestone for my class. Now, you might think, well, that's kind of hokey for a guy down in Alabama to do something like that. But for me, it was very, very special and something I could do. Horns announce things in life. Now, I didn't say you had to be a good horn player. <laughs> But I did learn to make some kinds of noise with that old cow horn. And when I do play it, I think of Mr. Shockley and his love and those lessons. There's also a horn called the shofar. A shofar was used as an ancient musical horn in the Jewish religion. It was blown in synagogue services. In Exodus 19, the blast of a shofar and a thick cloud on Mount Sinai made the Israelites tremble. A shofar was blown in the times of Joshua to help bring down the walls of Jericho. And a shofar I heard in a great church in Hawaii. You see, Hiram Bingham had gone to Hawaii as one of the first missionaries. He had gone to Andover Theological Seminary because our ancestors as Congregationalists wanted an educated clergy. And that was one of the first bands of missionaries to go forth to this great church in Hawaii where the queen also began to worship and requested baptism. Today, that horn, the church bells at our churches here and the church in Hawaii, all of these symbols tend to bring us together to celebrate what God has done in all of our lives. It's kind of a common thread from a dusty road in Lanedale, Alabama with a neighbor who just shared love and the lessons of life to Graham, North Carolina to also one of the oldest churches in the area with a great bell and a great story to tell even to Hawaii where this wonderful church was started so many years ago and continues to sound out the message Today we're reminded that we are God's shofar to sound out his message, whether in a, a loud horn type sound, proclaiming it loudly, or a simple childlike glee song, sharing God's love with those around us, full of his spirit, 
his joy and his peace. God bless you. This daily dose of Daryl is a reminder for us to be God's shofar, to sound out God's good news with our own life, talents, and spirit. Dance to God's music in your life. I am Daryl R. Peebles. I've been linking the world with love through service since 1949. I'm an ordained minister trained in art and trained in fire service. I've retired from the local church to expand my role of serving people and in God's ministry. I'm available for your organization or your event. The things that we can discuss that I might provide for you are pulpit supply, weddings, funerals, counseling, being a speaker either before or after dinner, uh, adding a magic show to one of your events, custom art and design, creative training for your business, or perhaps a consultant and life coach. Call me at 336-516-3793. Send an email to darylpeebles at gmail.com or go to the website, darylpeebles.com. Correspondence to Box 953 Graham, North Carolina, 27253. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Encourage your friends to subscribe. Share this with them. And please come back each day for a voice of encouragement and inspiration. Now, go out today and have a great day because you have the power to make it a great day as God will bless you. And you see, it's the only one you have. Be that shofar, sound out that good news, and get ready for God's blessings. I hope to see you real soon and we can all get together.